Hey everyone, I'm Nadine and welcome to Bookish Look. Now that July has passed, I'm doing my wrap up. This is probably like the third time that I recorded this. The first time the audio was all screwed up and then the second time the video was all screwed up. So let's hopefully, let's hope that this works. So I'm just going to dive in. The first book that I read this month was Veronica Mars' The Thousand Dollar Tan Line by Rob Thomas and Jennifer Graham. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved every second of it. If you are a fan of Veronica Mars and you've seen the TV show and the movie, I definitely recommend picking this up because this takes place after the movie. The second book that I read was Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, which is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. I gave this a 4.5 stars. I loved this book. I love Scarlet's character. She's so fantastic and like sassy and Wolf is pretty okay too. I think I like Prince Kai better, but that's okay. Um, the only thing I didn't really like in this book was the insta-love aspect, but other than that it was fantastic. The next few books I read during the Booktubeathon, so I'm just going to go through them really quickly. I'll link my video to my wrap up for the Booktubeathon down below. So the first book that I read during the Booktubeathon was The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket, which is book one in a series of unfortunate events. I gave this a four out of five stars. The second book that I read was The 100 by Cass Morgan. I gave this a four out of five stars as well. I also did a full video review, which I will link down below. I didn't start this book during the booktubeathon but I did finish the last 400 pages and that is A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin the third book in e the Song of Ice and Fire series I think that's what it's called I gave it a five out of five stars I loved every second of it the next book that I finished during the booktubeathon was Four by Veronica Roth which is the collection of short stories I gave this a five out of five stars I loved getting in to the world before Divergent and the last book I only started during the booktubeathon and finished I think the next day or the day after that was Branded by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalichik. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I definitely really enjoyed it. I um, There's a few things that I didn't really like about this um, but I won't get into them. But either way if you're looking for something really dark and uh, dystopian I would point you in this direction and it also has a very unique premise. The next book that I read was Beautiful Oblib Oblivion by Jamie McGuire which is a spin-off series book from the Beautiful Disaster duology. Uh, this follows Travis's brother Trent and a girl named Cammy. I gave this a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed the story although I enjoy Abby and Travis's story so much better. I felt it more I felt it was more captivating and compelling than this one although this one was hilarious and good as well and the big reveal at the end was pretty shocking. The next book that I read was Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Selena Sardothian is such a fantastic character. It is ridiculous. Um, although I think it was a little bit overhyped for me. I definitely enjoyed it but I felt like it kind of fell flat um, after all the hype it had but it was still fantastic and still probably one of my favorite books this year so far. But also after reading some adult fantasy I felt like this book was kind of lacking even though it is just a young adult fantasy book so you can't really expect the same kind of standards etc but either way this was fantastic and as I'm sure you've all read it but you should definitely pick it up if you haven't. The next book that I read was Silver Shadows by uh, Rochelle Mead which is the fifth book in the Bloodline series. I gave this a 4.5 stars out of 5. I loved this book so much. It was so fantastic. Sydney Sage is such a fantastic character. She's so strong and independent and it was just awesome. All the new characters that were introduced were pretty um, pretty well developed as well despite them just being introduced in this book. Uh, if you haven't read this Bloodline series and read Vampire Academy definitely give it a try because Sydney Sage is awesome. And the second to last book that I read was Cress by Marissa Meyer, which is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles. I buddy read this with Emmanuel from M Dog Reads, so I'll link his channel down below. I give this a 4.5 stars or 5, I can't remember. I definitely really like this book. It was it was so much fun. Um, Cress, the new character, I don't know how I feel about her still. She she really annoyed me and I really didn't like her character at the beginning although she does obviously develop and change by the end of the book but I don't know I just felt like she was such a weak character compared to Cinder and Scarlet. Uh, this book made me makes me want winter so much and January is too far off and then December for the next book I can't even remember the name 
is just so far oh my god the last few chapters in this book are crazy and they just really make you want the next book the last book that i read was tempting the bodyguard written by jay lynn who is jennifer l armature i gave this book sadly the first jennifer l armature book that i have not given five stars i gave it a three and it pains me and kills me to do that but this book was just so boring and so flat and so ugh. This is the third book in the Gamble Brothers trilogy which is like an erotica adult book and I love the first two. The, both the brothers were awesome and then the win women they ended up with were so nice and so like deserving and they fit is what I'm looking for. They fit together. Although with Tempting the Bodyguard I just didn't care about the characters. I thought they were boring. They had no redeeming qualities. Nothing. I just... I found myself skimming through most of it. I just, I was so disappointed with this book. The last thing I read this month was The Walking Dead, Volume 15, We Find Ourselves. I gave this a four to five stars. This one was really slow compared to all the other ones that I've read. This one really focused on character development, but I think that it focused on the character development at the expense of a little bit of action or something going on. I definitely still enjoyed it. A lot. I love these characters, I love this world, and I'm so excited to continue. On to my TBR. I am currently reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss. I am only the first story in. I've been reading, um, I've been wanting to read it in between books, or while I get sick of a book for some reason, I want to pick up and read the short stories in here. So yes, I'm currently reading this. I plan on picking up Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, which is a new, I think it's a standalone book, and I am so excited. It's got nothing but raving reviews. And of course, as you all know, Colleen Hoover writes gold and could do no wrong. So I am so excited to read this. I also plan on reading this collection of essays about Veronica Mars, edited by Rob Thomas. I am so excited to read this. I've heard that if you read this and then rewatch the show, you pick up on a lot of awesome things, etc. So um, it's pretty, pretty short. And I actually don't mind reading essays. So I am excited to read this. And the last thing that I actually plan on reading is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And if you don't know, I am part of a book called a book club called Shut Up and Read. And this was our pick for August, The Fifth Wave. So I will leave a link down to our Goodreads page below where there will be a discussion board set up, etc. So if you haven't read this and you've been wanting to, now is your time to read it. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be reading it, probably a week or two from now. And I'll be definitely participating in the discussion board, so definitely go check that out. So those were all the books that I read this month. Let me know down below what you read last month and what you plan on reading this month.